inside the city water park. You can only do that in the winter. This place is jam-packed in the summer. There'd be wall-to-wall -wall people in here in the middle of June and July and August. Check out my new magnetically attached receiver. Johnny's backhoe boom is so short I had to set up the level very low as you can see there. We're installing some perforated drainage tile in these grassy areas and the water park. This is a high traffic area. They need to keep it dry, yet they need to keep the grass growing so they irrigate it frequently. This perforated tile should get the excess water off so that people can enjoy this area. I think I'll go play in the lazy river. Yeah, it's freezing today. Actually, it's below freezing. Johnny came to play at the water park, only there's no water because it's the middle of winter. Here's the kitty side. I used to bring Katrill here when she was not real little. It wasn't open when she was real little, but middle school, so. It's a lot easier to move Casey than it is to move Johnny. Yeah, sometimes I can use the dipper stick itself to move forward, but in this case, I was tearing up the trench pretty bad, so, you know, Christy needed a job anyway. It's below 30 degrees today, all day. I think the high is like 29. This may be one of the coldest times we've ever dug anything. You can see there's ice in the bucket. Looks like there's a little water under the ice, but it's not thawing very fast. I'm surprised that the dirt is coming out of the bucket as well as it is. It's been really moist here, wet, um, the last, I don't know, two or three weeks actually. And the bucket's emptying very well. It's not getting all muddy. So the grassy area inside of the park is where people lay out their towels during the summer. And some people lay out and sunbathe. And other people just use it as a spot to reserve a place. And they can bring a picnic lunch inside here and just stay all day and have a, have a really good time. It's a very nice feature for Carmel. So there's a lazy river, and then there's water slides. You have to walk up that big hill for the water slides. There's a pretty steep slide over there behind Johnny. Now, some of you might be wondering why we're not using Casey for this project. Well, the answer is pretty simple, actually. We wanted to show you using Johnny digging. I thought it was because Johnny wanted to come play at the water park. Exactly. I think that's it. No, we don't show a lot of digging with the 260 backhoe. So I thought maybe it'd be a good chance right here. Johnny's nimble and lightweight. We may need to use the bucket a little bit. So we just thought maybe it's a good time to use Johnny and kind of show you what it's like. For this, the, the, Johnny's limitations really aren't causing us much issue. We're not moving uh, massive amounts of dirt, so the fact that he's a little slower is not that big of a deal. We don't have to put the dirt too far away from the, from the trench. So that's not a big deal. That's, that's another advantage of Casey is you can move the spoils pile a long way from where you're actually digging. With a small backhoe like this, you really don't have a lot of, of opportunity for your spoils pile. It's pretty well got to be right by where you're digging. So this is what we're kind of aiming for. So it doesn't drain very well in here in the summer when we get a lot of rain. And this place gets really soggy and then people can't use it. So we're putting in the tile to hopefully 
drain the water away from the surface to this big drain tile that's already here. Therefore, people can use it soon after it rains anyway. Maybe not immediately. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. There's actually a ladder down in there, but <clears throat> nope. I don't like you guys enough to get down in that. Sorry. So Johnny's actually a pretty good size for today's adventure. He's not messing up the ground. We won't have too much dirt to put back in after we get the tile down in the ground. Most people's idea of fun on a really cold day is to go s snow skiing. Nah, ours is to dig with Johnny. Yep, so we're making progress, Christy. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Now without that level, it's really hard to see the grade. I mean, just with my eye here, it looks to me like I'm digging deeper and deeper. Obviously, you can't probably tell that on the video, but it just doesn't feel right. That nice sensor tells me exactly what I need to be doing. A lot of people have asked about setting up the level for slope, wondering how difficult it is to set up. Really, the trick for me is to visualize the beam as being a flat plane. It doesn't really matter where that flat plane is, you just have to know where it is and know that it's flat, and then you make all your other adjustments relative to that. Now this level has a manual slope feature such that you can take that flat plane and put a slope in it. So the way we've got it set up now is that it's, it's no longer a flat plane, it's a sloping plane. Once we get that sloping plane set up, we dig down to where, where we want the bottom of our trench to be, and then we can mount this thing right where it's, it's green light. So now we know that that sensor is right in line with that sloping plane that I was talking about. And I do that with the bucket flat on the bottom of, of the trench. So as we continue to dig, I test it frequently and make sure that I hit that green light uh, with the bucket flat on the ground. There's another water pipe here. Actually, I think it's the same one I hit before, so it's the same one that was over there. So the gentleman that we're doing this for knew we would hit the irrigation pipes and it's easy for them to fix those apparently. So he said to just flag it when we hit it. He knew they were out here. He has a nice diagram of where all the other uh, electrical and stuff is. So we're good on that. He's dug up a big root. Well, it's not a big root, but it's a root. There are trees in the water park. And those trees, to get nutrients, have had to send their roots all the way under the concrete sidewalk and over to this area that has grass. It won't hurt the tree, though. It shouldn't. Oh, he broke the root. Well, the ice is broken. Well, we're getting closer on this side to our manhole. Now the gentleman who takes care of the park here added that concrete ring on the top, the white one, to bring up the grate a little bit so it wasn't so deep. This place is a lot of fun during the summer. Katrina and I would come with a lot of her friends and some of their moms. And then as she got older, of course, she just came with her uh, teenage friends. So of course when I didn't have the GoPro on, he dug up a big root and almost whacked him in the face. That would have been hard to have gotten out if you were digging by hand. I guess you would have had to cut it with a chainsaw or handsaw or something. ways 
leaves from that tree. I mean, it's it's a long way over there. I'm really surprised at how big a bruise we're finding here. I hope we're not doing it any serious damage, but one thing I would say is that they water this frequently, so the tree should be able to be fine. On the negative side, here I am putting perforated tile in where all those roots are. I really don't have a lot of confidence in this perforated tile for this situation. They change the configuration of this part fairly often, so the lifespan of this tile probably won't be an issue. If you're working on your own project, I would recommend not using perforated tile where you have tree roots even close at all. As you've seen in some of our other videos, those roots seem to find that tile even when it's a long way from the tree. You have to evaluate the priorities of every given project. This area gets irrigated quite frequently and it needs to be dry enough for people to walk on. So this perforated tile is very important for them. You use Ken's bolt-on step. Get yours at boltonhooks.com. You know, it takes a little bit longer with Johnny, I think. It's kind of fun. So now they knew there were some electrical and different things underneath. So Jock and his guys hand dug to find the lines, and that's why there's already some places dug out. So this is a probably the worst obstacles of the day. It's very wet down in this section. It did rain a few days ago. So he dug a little from one end, then he had to turn around. And again, we're gonna try to bring a drainage all the way to this big drainage hole that was already here. Here's proof Tim does know how to dig by hand. He doesn't like it, but he knows how. It's long enough that way? Yeah, it's perfect. It's like you measured it. Johnny's getting to play at the water park. I don't think I'll try to go off the slide. Well, it's too bad Johnny can't go up to the top here. Go down the water slide. This will look totally different next summer when the flowers are in bloom and everything's alive and not dead because of winter. So it looks like he's been putting the rock in and then filling it back in with the dirt after he's dumped his load of rock.
It's coming on towards evening and well, Johnny's been all day at the water park. This is so cool. If this was during the summer, I'd be ran over by a bunch of children. Do you love your tractor enough to bring him to a water park? It's not quite Disney, but it's not bad. Concession stand over there. Because if you stay here all day, you need food. The areas where he hasn't pushed the dirt back in are places that have to have the irrigation line fixed before they can close it up. Well, you've had Johnny to the water park all day. Yep. This is like Johnny saying, I'm going to Disney World. Oh <laughs> yeah. It's his type of uh, playground. It sure is. I hope you've enjoyed it, everybody. We've uh, got all this drainage work done. I think we're all done. It's almost dark, so we better be done. Right. Check out our website, TractorTimeWithTim.com. Got a lot of good stuff there. Hope you enjoyed seeing Johnny dig uh, just a little while. This was kind of fun to do all this backhoe work with Johnny. We haven't used his backhoe that much in a long time. Hey, tune in next time for another cool episode of Tractor Time with Tim. said something different. You did. That's weird. <laughs>